Hello and welcome back. We're on the chapter four quiz review. I'm on number 15. So yours says y equals negative one. Sorry, that was my mistake. Um, okay, so y equals negative one right here. So when it's a y equals, the only thing we're changing is the y. So all my x's are going to stay the same. And I can double check, make sure that makes sense. So let's see, a is two away. So make a one, two away again. So a is at four, negative three. B is five, six away. So I need to go down six more. B prime is at negative seven. And let's see, C prime is one, two, three away. So I go one, two, three more. Nope, nope, nope. Three, Mayhew. C is at zero, negative four. Make sure that if I folded it on my line of reflection, those two would line up. That's two away, two away. One, two, three away, three away. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, lowercase r is rotate 270. So you can always, 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 if you have forgotten your rules, you can take your pick, you can rotate your paper three times. Do, 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 do. I'm close, not quite. So if you rotated your paper three times, you can check out these new points and see what they're going to be. I'm going to show you both ways, both with the rule and with the rotate. So let's see. My new C is going to be at 2, 0. Because C is right there, C prime, right? My new B is going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 5, negative 3. Positive 5, negative 3. And my new A is at 1, negative 4. 1, negative 4. So if you rotated your paper, that is how you can find what those are, right? But you also didn't need to do that. If you remembered your 270 rules, it's switch X and Y, change the sign of the new Y. So it looks like that when you write down the rule. So change X and Y, switch the sign of the new Y. We did that. We did that. And you can't change a zero, so we did it. Gorgeous. 180 rules are, oh, I didn't graph it. Um, one, negative four is down here, A prime. Um, five, negative three is right here, B prime. And two, zero is right here, C prime. You can also kind of think about this, like did it go one, two, three rotations? It sure did. Um, 270. All right, 180 is just make all the signs negative. That is way easier rule to remember. If you wanted to rotate your paper so your paper is upside down, you're going to end up with the same solution with the same problems. So I'm going to have negative 4, negative 1 is A prime. Um, B is at negative 3, negative 5, B prime. And C is at 0, negative 2, C prime. Let's see. Does that look same size, same shape? One, two rotations. Yes, it does. Gorgeous. All right. State the coordinates. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, if you are struggling with 12 through 17, there is so much practice on Khan Academy. Please, 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 please get on there. Do that extra practice. All right. State the coordinates of D for the requested transformation. So here it wants you to put D prime. Not P prime, Mayhew. D prime. All right. I need to go plus three, plus four. So let's see. D is at one, two, three, one, two. So D is currently at three, two. So D prime is going to be um, three, two. It's going to become plus three, plus four. This is me showing my work here, y'all. D prime is at six, six. No, you don't need to show all that work. Yes, I'm just trying to kind of help you out a little bit. Um, okay, so if I reflect across the y-axis, we've already done one y-axis, but that's okay. We can do another one. Uh, y-axis is just going to be x equals zero, so all you're changing is the x. So x becomes, for d prime, becomes negative three, positive two. One, two, three, one, two, d prime. Makes sense. Cool, dude. Uh, let's do this one in a different color. So reflect 90. So 90 is switch x and y, change the sign of the new y. 
sorry, change the sign into the new X. As I was writing, I couldn't do both at the same time. Um, so I need to switch these. And then it needs to end up in this quadrant. So let me make sure I've done this right. So it's going to be negative 2, 3. Negative 2, 3. D prime. You can also double check if you go to the origin and then go to D. It's a 90 degree angle. We just rotated 90. We're good to go. Looking good. All right. Reflected across the X. There's another X. Love that. So the X axis is this one. That is Y equals zero. So we are only changing the Y. So it's going to be three negative two. Right here. D prime. Is it three negative two? Yeah, good. Just checking, making sure we did everything right. And then this last one I'm gonna do in green, x equals negative one. X equals negative one right here. Make that just a little thicker. Uh, so all I'm changing is the y. So my x is gonna, no. All I'm changing is my x, because it's x equals negative one. So my y is gonna stay a two. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, which is at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just double checking. And negative five, two. There's my D prime for my green one. Cool. Hope that helps. Again, so much more practice on this on Khan Academy. Please, 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 please do it if you need that help. All right. ABC is the image. All right, so this is the image. This is the pre. You can see those little apostrophes to show you that. What rule? Okay, so this is a translation. So I'm going to say T. I'm going to do it in vector form. Um, let's see, how far are we move in? What point do I want to look at? I'm going to look at A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I chose negative 7 because it was down, positive 11 because my x was getting bigger and my y was getting smaller. Um, you can check that with all your others. Make sure it's right over 11, down 7. Remember, the x has to come first. The y has to come second. The other way you could write this rule is going to be x plus 11, comma, y minus 7. Those are the two ways to write this. All right, what rule describes this reflection? So this is my pre, this is my image. Uh, reflection is a capital R over that line. Looks to be the mid. So what is that? X equals two of A, B, C, D, E. Ooh, I've run out of space, but yes. Reflect over X equals two. That's what you need to be able to do there. All right, and it tells me this is a rotation, so I don't even have to be curious about that. So let's see, if I know C, oop, nope, we're, go, we're starting here, we're ending there. Look at the quotes. So C went doot, doot, S went one, two, R went one, two, so that is 180, right? Small, 180 degrees about the origin is that rotation. Um, you could check the points as well if you wanted. So C, do this in a different color. One, two, three. No, where's C? One, two, one, two. So C is at two, two. And the new C is at negative two, negative two, or two. That's a negative, Mayhew. Whew. So all we did was change the signs. Yeah, that's C, that's C prime. So I think we did that right. Just double checking. Draw the other half of this reflection. Uh, let's see, it needs to be a mirror. It needs to be able to kind of fold in half. It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. We know we can't draw exactly, but we're gonna try our little hardest to kind of get it right. There it is. Cool, hope that helps. If you have any more questions, um, go over your homework, go to Khan Academy. You're gonna do great on this quiz.